What's up everyone? We're back out here at the uh, White Duck canvas wall tent and I'm going to be cleaning out the uh, around the uh, deck here and inside and we're going to set up the inside. I got the uh, stove out. We're going to lay the ground down and uh, we're going to get it set up for camping. All right, well, we got it all cleaned up now. It's swept out. Uh, it's the best we're gonna do. There's a leaf or two back there. Uh, the nice thing about the White Duck uh, outdoors canvas tents is that they come with their own ground cover. So I'm gonna put that in first. I haven't done that yet. It's gonna be the first time installing it. Um, apparently a lot of the other brands don't include that with the purchase. So another thing to factor in when, uh, when you look at the price tag on All right, so we got the base floor down. Uh, we're not doing anything fancy. We're not getting an outdoor rug or anything like that. Uh, we're just getting it set up so we're off the cold wood and um, gonna use sleeping bags and blow up mattresses and that kind of stuff. We got the uh, stove here. So next thing I'm gonna have to do is take the stove out. I've used it before just to get it set, um, but I'm gonna have to cut the opening out and we're gonna have to size it up and I got an adapter and everything here this is a uh, stove that we got is winter well which is it's pretty nice comes with the bag pretty compact they have one that's only just a couple pounds and folds up but I don't trust myself with thin titanium might bend it but it here he said the neat thing with this is everything fits inside so that's gonna be all your piping another thing too for the kids it's got a side window so you can see the flames um, legs here pop out to get it off the ground which is nice Completely compact, folds up nicely. So I did get some adapters for it, um, which is gonna better help it fit. But I'm gonna get this unloaded. Um, we're gonna take a look and uh, 
I'm gonna go get a blade and we're gonna cut it open. All right, so I'm trying to cut the opening out. Made a smaller opening, it says an eighth of an inch next to the thread line, so I'm gonna kind of follow it around. Make sure I can get the tube to fit in. What we have here is an attachment that goes in and that's what I gotta make sure I can fit through up there. That way it protects it. I mean, this is coated anyways, so um, it's heat resistant, but rather be safe than sorry. All right, I'm gonna do things a little bit different because I don't wanna butcher up the tent just to be able to uh, screw this in. It's pretty tight. I mean. I don't think it's going to really leak, but I'm going to set up the stove now and we'll push it up and we'll, we'll make do with what we have. So you see, the stove takes up very little room inside the tent, but it lets off a tremendous amount of heat. And I'm gonna go get some wood now. I'm gonna fire it up quick, see how, uh, how it does. As far as the out goes, I mean, I, I could obviously make it a length shorter. I just want it as far away from the tent as possible. So let me, let me get some wood and we'll get this fire going. After a while the soot will burn off and it clears up, but what we'll do now is you'll see the old pipe a little bit discolored and uh, airflow regulator, but this up here is getting warm. This is cold to the touch, which is good, but this is warm here, which I'll start changing color soon, heat treating it. blowing all right we got her going pretty good I'm gonna uh, let the fire burn out once the fire burns out we're gonna put the tarp on top and I'll poke the um, stove back through it and from there we can leave it in here permanently i'm going to go ahead and close the windows i've had them open just getting it aired out and all the material settled um but it's working pretty good and it's even though all the uh 
windows are open there's a cross breeze it's significantly warmer in here than outside so i'm gonna go ahead and get those closed up and we'll like i said we'll let the fire burn out and then we'll throw the tarp on